Welcome to my channel! Learn with Teacher Ellie! Mathematics, Grade 5, Quarter 2, Week 1, Day 1 By the end of the quarter, the learners are able to divide fractions using models. Let us read and analyze the given word problem. Jen is preparing identical loot bags for her birthday. She plans to give away the loot bags to street children. She has 135 pieces of goodies and 15 party bags. How many goodies must she put? Students, how will you solve the problem? What strategy will you use? And how many groups of 15 are there in 135? Therefore, Jen must put 9 goodies in each loot box. Let us try this activity. Suppose the given numbers in a division problem are fractions. How will you find the quotient? Use models to find the quotient. How many thirds or one third are there in two thirds? In this week's lesson, we will learn how to divide fractions using models. Now, match the vocabulary word to its correct meaning. Like in a whole number division, dividing fraction means equal sharing or grouping. Let us solve the following problem using models and number lines. A baker is making croissants. Each croissant is made from pound of dough. If the baker has pound of dough, how many croissants can he make? Take note that the abbreviation LB comes from the Latin word libra which means pound. One pound is equivalent to approximately 0.45 kilograms or half a kilogram. How many eighths or one eighths are there in three fourth? How would you show how many one eighths are there in three fourth? Notice that 3 over 4 is equal to 6 over 8. There are 6 eighths or 1 eighth in 3 fourths. Therefore, the baker can make 6 croissants. Divide 1 half by 1 fourth. How many fourths or 1 fourths are there in 1 half? There are 2 1 fourths in 1 half. Therefore, 1 half divided by 1 fourth is equal to 2. Find the quotient using models. Give words or phrases you remember from the lesson. Give instances when these lessons can be of help to you. In cooking or baking, what will happen if you do not follow the correct measurements or amount of ingredients? Match the equation with the corresponding illustration or model. Day 2 By the end of the quarter, the learners are able to divide fractions using models. Divide the following. Simplify your answers to lowest terms if possible. Find the answer to the following questions from the fraction chart. Using number lines, show 3 fourths and 8 on a number line. Then, show and count equal jumps of 8 on a number line. There are 6 equal jumps of 8 on the number line. Therefore, the baker can make 6 croissants. 
Let us have more examples of fractions division using models. Example number 1 is to divide 4 over 8 by 1 8. There are 4 1 8 in 4 over 8. Now, find the quotient using models. Answer the following questions through models. Day 3 By the end of the quarter, the learners are able to divide fractions using models. Solve each problem. Divide the following. Match the figure on the right that illustrates the equation on the left. Write the letter only. Now find the quotient. Illustrate 9 over 10 and 2 over 5. How many 2 fifths are there in 9 10? Notice that 2 fifths is equal to 4 over 10. Therefore, 9 over 10 divided by 2 over 5 is equal to 2 1 fourth. Here is another illustration to solve the same division problem. Count how many two-fifths are there in 9 over 10. If two-fifths is divided into four equal parts, one part is one-fourth of two-fifths. Therefore, there are 21 over 4 two-fifths in 9 over 10. This means that 9 over 10 divided by two-fifths is equal to two one-fourth or nine-fourth. For example number 4, find the quotient. How many one-fifths are there in two-thirds? Divide two-thirds into five equal parts. In the whole, one-fifth is made up of three parts. One over five is equal to three over fifteen. Therefore, two-thirds divided by one-fifth is equal to three one-third. Example number 5. Find the quotient. How many three-fourths are there in one-half? Therefore, one-half divided by three-fourths is equal to two-thirds. Now illustrate division of fraction using a number line. Students, do you love to eat fruits? Why it is important for young ones like you to eat fruits? Aside from fruits, what else must you eat for you to be healthy and strong? Choose the letter of the correct equation that fits the illustration of the division of fractions given below. Day 4 By the end of the quarter, the learners are able to divide fractions using models. Find the quotient. Reduce your answers to lowest terms if needed.
Do you love to eat fruits? What are some of your favorite fruits that you eat? Let us read and analyze this problem. Dennis has 10 kilograms of mangoes. He will repack it in one half kilogram per bag. How many bags will he need? How many kilograms of mangoes does Dennis have? How many kilograms per bag will he repack the mangoes? Students, look at this illustration. How many 12 kilograms are there in 10 kilograms? Therefore, Dennis will need 20 bags to repack the 10 kilograms of mangoes into 12 kilograms per bag. Let us solve the problem in another way. How many 12 kilograms are there in 10 kilograms? What operation should be used to answer the question? First, change the dividend into a fraction with the denominator of 1. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor. Reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. Then change division sign to multiplication symbol. Multiply the fractions to get the quotient or the answer. And simplify the quotient if possible. Match column A with column B. Choose the letter of the correct answer for each number to reveal the hidden word. Solve the problem. Directions. Write yes on the blank before the number if the quotient is correct and no if not. Day 5. By the end of the quarter, the learners are able to divide fractions using models. Solve for the quotient. Reduce your answers to lowest terms if needed. Use the number line to find the quotient. Give the quotient. Express the answer in simplest form. Here is another example. Use number lines to find the quotient. And then answer the following questions. Thank you for watching! Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to be updated on our latest videos. See you on our next lesson. Goodbye!